Welcome to AmeriWater's installation training video for the dual tank bicarb mix and distribution system. The four sections included in this video are installation requirements, plumbing connections, drain connections, and electrical connections. When the bicarb system is delivered, immediately inspect the system for damage. Note any damage on the bill of lading, take photos of the damage if possible, and report it to AmeriWater. The following requirements must be satisfied to ensure proper installation and operation of the bicarb system. The system should be installed on a level floor. There should be a purified water source with an isolation valve close to the system location. The floor drain should be able to handle bicarb and disinfectants and should be located so the bicarb plumbing frame can be installed on top of the drain, allowing drain hoses to be installed free of restrictions. A 120 volt, 20 amp dedicated GFI power receptacle should be within three feet of the system location. A 120 volt receptacle should be at the nurse's station or designated area for the optional remote alarm. The provided remote alarm wiring should be installed between the bicarb location and the designated area, making sure to meet local code. A half inch ID hose for the loop return drain must be provided. Finally, the distribution loop must be installed. Install the provided CPC mail quick connect fitting to your purified water source. If you have a Marcor heat disinfect system, remove any flow restrictors from the feed line and install the optional stainless steel fitting to the water source. Place the system plumbing frame directly over or as close to the floor drain as possible, making sure it is within six feet of the purified water supply valve. Install the pump feed and drain piping to the mixed tank. Make sure the Union O-ring is in place and free of debris before connecting the piping. Slide the tank towards the frame until the pipe aligns with the mixed pump inlet, then hand tighten the unions. Install piping to the distribution tank, then slide the tank until the pipe aligns and hand tighten the unions. Attach the hoses from the plumbing frame to the appropriate ports on the mix tank. Make sure to insert the tubing all the way to the tube stop in the fitting body and hand tighten. Then use a wrench no more than one to one and a half turns. Attach the hoses from the plumbing frame to the appropriate ports on the distribution tank.
Connect the six foot inlet hose to the back of the plumbing frame. Then tighten the hose clamp. Connect the other end to the water supply valve. Connect the tubing to the loop feed connection fitting located on the back of the plumbing frame. Amera Water recommends using half inch OD blue polyethylene tubing. Hand tighten, then use a wrench no more than one to one and a half turns. Connect the returning end of the bicarb loop to the loop return connection fitting. Connect each tank vent filter with the outlet connection against the tank. Make sure the O-ring is in the housing before connecting. Connect a length of half inch ID hose to the barb fitting on valve 9D. Then tighten the hose clamp and place the other end into the drain located beneath the plumbing frame. Install the mixed drain hose from valve 9M and tighten the hose clamp. Run the hose around the back of the tank and place the other end into the floor drain under the frame. Install the distribution drain hose from valve 11D and run the hose around the back of the tank and into the floor drain. All wires are labeled with the corresponding terminal number they connect to in the control panel. Insert the mixed tank high level float switch wires into the panel. Connect the wires to the corresponding terminal in the control panel. Slightly pull the wire to ensure it has been securely connected. Repeat these steps for the distribution tank high and low level float switches. Install the optional remote alarm at the nurse's station or other designated area. Remove the alarm cover. Insert the provided wire into the alarm panel. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals. 
Remember to slightly pull on the wires to ensure they have been securely connected. Place the alarm cover back in place. Place the compression nut from the back of the bicarb control panel over the alarm wire. Insert the alarm wire into the control panel. Then connect the wires to terminals 26 and 27. Tighten all connectors on the back of the panel. Upon completion, close and secure the control panel and plug the system in. The bicarb system must be disinfected prior to placing the system in service. While performing the disinfection procedure, check for any leaks and retighten connections if necessary. This concludes the installation training video for the dual tank mix and distribution system. For more information on your bicarb system, please refer to the operation manual. Thank you for choosing Amerowood.